What is going on guys, Greggles TV. This is the update for the Shield Experience Upgrade 7.0, also known as Android Oreo Android 7.0. So let's get it started. Let's hit what's new in here and we'll check out what's gonna be seen on here. Now this is a beta thing going on right now. You should get the update fairly soon, but this is beta. Uh, so let's look at what's new. You're gonna get a brand new home screen. All your entertainment is now in one place with Android Oreo 8.0. Live TV, video on demand, streaming, media, and games. It's all there. It's fully customizable. Love it. Uh, next up, you got favorite apps. You can choose the apps and the order. Hold the select button on an app to move it. To access all your apps, hold the home button or select the red apps icon. Play Next is going to be where you continue where you left off in TV shows, movies, and games. To add content to Play Next, navigate to the content and hold the select button. Note, not all apps support Play Next. Next, you got Channels. Discover new entertainment from your favorite apps. You choose the channels and the order. Navigate left on a channel to move or remove it. Note, all apps don't support channels. Next up, apps or TV channels. Let's see that. So organize your favorite apps into a TV guide style layout. See shows for each app on the home screen. So there you go. You can kind of sort that. It's kind of cool. I like that. Looks slick. Amazon Prime Video gets a big update. Discovering new shows has never been easier with the new Prime Video user interface. New features include the ability to add or remove shows to your watch list and more. I like that. The good integration of our Amazon Prime. Plex Media Server expands server st storage options. Your, your server's app data, metadata, background art, and more can now be moved to a USB storage device from the Plex app. Go to settings, Plex Media Server, and storage location. So it looks like you can change over that location for your media. That is really nice because that could, if you don't want it to be internal storage, you can now, it looks like it make it external storage. You can watch live sports with ESPN+. Plus. Uh, enjoy your favorite Red Tube Originals and 4K Ultra HD on YouTube TV, which I thought you could already do that. Fandango now offers movies in 4K. Enjoy the new Smart Things Hub update. So Smart Things is by Samsung, so it's going to allow you to run your smart home devices as long as you have a Smart Things Hub. You can watch CNBC, watch Dish Network. Shield is now your Dish Network cable box with Dish Anywhere app. Access live TV, recorded shows, or on-demand movies. Uh, Trulia is going to be discover your true your dream home. Looks like you can. Oh, it's cool. You can uh, look through photos and video walkthroughs of uh, homes that you could possibly buy. Also, you got what's new on Google Assistant. Open settings preferences on the Google Assistant app on your phone, and you can change. Look, okay, it's got new. You can do Arlo cameras, Emerson Sensei, IKEA Tad Free, LG Smart Appliances support scenes uh, for Philips Hue. New services, UPS, Dunkin' Donuts, Lonely Planet Travel Guide. So some new Google Assistant things. That's nice. New games, Shadow Legends, Crashlands, More Fight, Don Dada. Uh, there you go. Shadow Gun looks like it's a cooperative multiplayer. And then other enhancements, the latest monthly Android security updates. Uh, quick access to settings when you're on the home screen by holding the back button. Little, lots of that's one of the things I've noticed is a lot of like, I guess uh, settings, a lot of new settings within just whatever there was before within apps and within holding buttons. It's longer you'll get more options. Support for high profiling rate gaming mice for Nvidia game stream. Improved support for game trollers. You can customize your shield controller, thumbstick, dead zones, uh, Xbox 360 and DualShock V2 controllers, and now it looks like you can use those. DualShock 4, 4 controls using USB wireless adapter. That is really cool. So you can use your PlayStation uh, 4 controller on here with a wireless adapter. Add connect option to repair disconnected Bluetooth accessories. Ability to connect to Wi-Fi without disconnecting Ethernet. General stability fixes on Shield remote and Shield controller. Latest accessory firmware versions. And that is it, guys. So let's get to this update. You can see it's a ton of new things. And they've been doing this since this platform has come out. Um, it's over two years now since the, the Shield has been out. And they have tons and tons of stuff. So there's really a lot. If you don't have one of these Shield devices, I recommend getting one. They are the best. So you can see the update's about over a gig, a little over a gig. So we'll let this go. And when we come back, we'll, we'll talk about and walk through the interface of this. All right, and now it says what's new. Let's take a moment to walk through the latest update to your device. So I'm going to press next. It says home is your guide to entertainment. Press home on your remote to get to the Android home TV screen. From here, you can decide 
what to watch by browsing entertainment options from apps and live TV. Your home has channels. Discover great content from your favorite apps by browsing through your home's channels. For more content, add additional channels or find new apps in Google Play. Always know what to play next. Start playing where you left off and get notifications about new episodes in the Play Next channel at the top of your home. Press and hold the select on a movie or a TV show to add it directly to your Play Next channel. Meet your Google Assistant, ask it questions, tell it to do things. To get started, press the mic button on your remote. Say it to play it. Ask it to play your favorite show, video, or music, or find the latest blockbuster to enjoy. Ask it anything. Ask about the weather, sports, traffic, and more. You can even ask it to dim the lights. Ooh, I already did that. A world of entertainment from Google Play, buy or rent newest movies and shows from Play Movies and TV, listen to millions of songs with a subscription to Google Play Music. Chromecast built in, stream your favorite entertainment from your phone, tablet, or laptop right to your TV. And that's a lot of that stuff has already been in here for a while, but I guess maybe they're just making it, trying to make it a little bit easier for people to see that kind of stuff or know that it's there. And this is the interface. So let's just go from the top to the bottom. I have apps, play next, and then popular right now. It looks like featured, recommended, music for you, featured. So it's just, it looks like apps that it thinks I'm going to like. I guess that would be the, those, those are the, the channels, I guess. When you go all the way back to the top, you can see you can click to speak. You can also click to type if you want to search for something or have it do an action. Notifications, this is new. So let's click that. And it's just telling me I have a USB drive connected. It looks like I can dismiss that so the notification goes away. And you, other with, otherwise with notifications, it's probably going to give you, I, mean, I would assume, app updates and whatever else. Maybe a new show is out or whatever. Let's go into settings. And the first setting at the top is ZZZ Sleep Now. So you can make it go to sleep. You got network settings, display and sound, system, apps. It looks like it's pretty much the same. The ZZZ is new. Google accessibility developer options. Uh, yeah, nothing to. There's nothing really new in here. Let's check out. I did want to check out home screen to see what we have new in there. And under home screen, you can customize your channels. You can enable video previews, and you enable uh, audio previews, reorder apps. So, reorder apps, let's go in there. <laughs> Okay, so this is kind of cool. So you would set where you want these apps. Let's see if I use I use Gears TV. So I'll move Gears TV. Just press A or select in remote and then move it where you want it. And I think that is that all you have to do. Yeah, you just get out of it when you're done. It should be. Let's go into apps and see if it put. Okay, all right, I see what it did. Okay, now let's do some of the new shortcuts that they have. All right, so if you press and hold the home button, it should show all the apps. And there you go. It does do that. If you hold the back button, I believe it brings up settings. And there it goes, that's cool. You can also make it go to sleep really quickly. Double pressing the home button should bring up recent apps. And it does. When you go next to the play next, if you press the A button on your, on your gamepad or the select button, you hold it, um, you can play next or remove it. Under the apps category, if you press and hold select, um, you can open the app, you can move it, or you can remove it from your favorites. And then also if you wanna remove a channel, like say you don't care about Pandora, like I don't really care about Pandora, if I go all the way to the left, I can hit this little uh, minus sign and it removes it for me and then I never have to see it again or I can always add it if I want. Let's go into customize channels. Um, you've got play next. Let's see if you can add them here. Uh, it doesn't look like you can just add them, but yeah, looks like you get, Multiple channels, like what is this, Google Plays, movies. Oh, you can show featured top-selling movies or top-selling TV shows. So I'll add those in. I don't know if I care about that. Eh, I'll keep it. Give me a good idea what to watch. Um, yeah, so that's the interface here you get. Uh, it's still in beta, so it's not super-duper smooth, I've noticed. It, it needs a little bit of time to kind of catch up. But once I've opened up some stuff, it kind of runs a little bit better. So if the video is kind of like cutting up a little bit, that's pretty much why it's... Been a little bit laggy, but this is beta software. So it, once the real version come out, comes out, you should be perfectly fine. But otherwise, I I kind of dig the interface. I like having more control of it the way I want it to look. <clears throat> um, uh, the apps definitely will be something that I'm interested in. I do love that they put the settings button in the top right. 
Uh, the clock, I believe, is always there, but the settings in the top right, it's always been an important thing, and you always had to go to the bottom to get to it, so I like that it's easier to get to. Um, and then these channels is always cool too, without having to go into the app, I can kind of just go down here, look to see if there's anything I want to watch. Uh, let's press it and hold A, add to play next. Okay, so you guess you can add stuff you don't buy to add and play next. Um, I won't watch that. Let's see, would I watch any of this stuff? Not really. <laughs> That's popular stuff right now. Let me, just, let me add something in here. I'll add, um, uh, let's add Sarah Paulson. So I'm going to press and hold that. I'm going to add it to play next. So that's kind of cool. It kind of reminds you, put play next and kind of remember to, to, to watch it or not. So I like that. That's a, it's a, it's a nice little update for sure. Um, there's a lot of customizing, customizing in this. Oh, let's check out just to show you that it should say, you might've already seen it. I didn't catch it, but when you go into about, it should say Android eight. Yeah, there you go. Android eight. Oh, when you press it enough times, you get the little logo. Looks like somewhat of an Oreo. Not really, but I guess so. Anyways, guys, that is the update for this new Android operating system for uh, the NVIDIA Shield. You can download if you're signed up to the beta. Otherwise, um, that's pretty much it. I hope you like it, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll see you guys down the road. Peace.